video is designed to show some of the features in the Haiti crisis map, which may help with editing in OpenStreetMap. The first view you see when going to HaitiCrisisMap.org is a simple OpenStreetMap map using the Haiti styles. What you'll see here is that many of the features that have been marked in the map, such as destroyed buildings or camps, refugee camps, are marked in this map. The other main source of data that you will find in this map is the satellite aerial imagery. This combines all of the imagery made available from various providers for open for OpenStreetMap's use in tracing. You can see some of this data is more detailed than others. <clears throat> the, this interface provides a number of other layers in order to provide better mapping for OpenStreetMap. One example is the Haiti colorless topo maps. This is a complete map of the country that displays some streams, roads, etc., and may help you determine whether something is a road, a town, a building, etc. These maps range in date from 1963 to 1999, so be aware that they are not always perfectly up to date. There is also the Port-au-Prince topo maps, which contain additional information such as street names. Most of this information has already been entered into OpenStreetMap, but it is still a valuable tool to be able to compare against other data sources. When looking at the satellite aerial imagery, you have the ability to turn on an OpenStreetMap overlay in the OSM Overlays folder. This includes roads, streams, everything that you might want to see. It will still provide slightly less information than the OpenStreetMap map. There's also the damage slash refugee camps layer. This will allow you to lay over the top of the set aerial imagery references to all of the camps, destroyed roads, gas stations, etc. This combined with the roads overlay provides a relatively decent summary of OpenStreetMap data that can be used over the top of the satellite imagery. In addition to these tools, OpenStreetBugs is available on this map. OpenStreetBugs allows you to click on any of these points that people have marked as needing second opinions or further investigation and use these as possible mapping points to jump off from. Once you've found a point in OpenStreetBugs that you want to explore or work further on, you can select it, zoom in, to see this area, and once you've done that, you can click the Edit in OSM button. So if we look here and turn on the OSM roads overlay, what we'll probably see is that someone thinks there's a duplicate here, and you have the ability to open this and edit directly in OpenStreetMap. This will take you to the Potlatch OpenStreetMap editor, the Flash-based web editor, from where you can edit the information. In order to close a bug, you still have to go to openstreetbugs.appspot.com, this will allow you to view the various bugs, and if you click on a bug, it will keep the pop-up open, and you can close mark to close the, uh, the bug so it's not there anymore. In addition to OpenStreetBugs, uh, which allows you to mark specific points, this interface has an editing interface. This allows you to, for example, mark various points along routes and say that you're working on them. Uh, once you've done that, you can save that layer and the if you once you've moved the map the link permalink in the lower right corner will include a reference to that layer so you can see here that by clicking that link I was able to get these uh, points that I was talking about before and you can also edit these um, and give them titles and descriptions so that other people can uh, see that information so we can see here now that my ABC are labeled in the map and I can copy this URL and give it to someone else who might be working on mapping in this area. These are some of the tools available. There are additional uh, data layers which might be helpful. Most of them are simply satellite layers but uh, some other layers are available like Yushahidi uh, alerts, hospitals from Sahana and other places like that. So there's a large amount of data available in this map which may help you in your OpenStreetMap mapping efforts.